Okay, so part 2 video, ngayon naman papunta tayo sa... Whatever they call it. Decimal, decimal system. Are you kidding? Yeah. <laughs> okay mga Jibero, so meron pa palang taas. Tapos ito yung view natin mula dito sa tore. So ito yung tinatawag na butaka. Um, a man in khaki, you know khaki was invented for the Philippines. Kasi on her last uh, week of uh, life, in Elder Marcus came to say goodbye to her. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako'y po si Peti Benitez Johano. I welcome you to Miranila Heritage House and Library. I hope you, your families and friends will have time to visit us. We're open any day, any time with appointment. And if you want to come and see us, we are in miranila.org. We have many things that we can show you here in the house. We also have uh, a Henry Hotel, Boutique Hotel. We have the Bizu, Miranila, and we have the Gallery, Miranila, where we have many events. We have a little chapel, we have two gardens. So I hope you have fun discovering us as I just finished a tour with people. The tour lasts about an hour 15, but this tour lasted a lot longer. <laughs> and we have a little gift shop where the, our visitors are now looking through and having a little snack before they go on to lunch. So I hope one day you will have time to visit us. We are in Quezon City and we're not far from Krame. So right in the center of town, not very far from Cubao, you can find a little haven of stillness, tranquility, and also a touch of your past. So please come, you're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much po, Miss Petty. Thank you. Okay, so ito yung pinakalikod ng bahay. Ayan. Tapos malawak yung kanilang parking area. Oh. Ayan. Okay, so part 2 video. Ngayon naman papunta tayo sa taas. Okay. So ang engranding stairs na naman. Grabe no. So kapag talaga na alagaan ng isang lumang bahay, kung hindi siya napabayaan, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. So kita nyo, kahit Napakatagal na ng bahay, 1929, pero napaka ganda pa din. Okay, so eto bago na to. Nilagay na, nilagyan na nila ng glass, glass door. Ayan. Which is okay yung ginawa nila kasi siyempre para maiwasan yung dumi or alikabok na pumapasok dito sa loob no? Ayan, dito sa taas wow so all books na yung makikita natin dito no? Oh, reading room. Now, and was there always glass there, or is that? No, this is all new because we had this air condition. Ah, okay. okay, so ito yung tinatawag na butaka. Sa salitang bukaka daw. <laughs> this was the 
private life, private space of the family. This is where they would have their breakfast, their lunch. They would meet their public downstairs and oh. their friends. Pero dito sila, uh, living, oh, space. living space nila. Yan yung desk ni Conrado. Yes, we have a small collection of art. And I chose, I selected a few to just also tell you about the development of uh, Philippine painting. This one, I found sa likod ng door doon. It's by Fabian de la Rosa. Okay. Fabian de la Rosa was the first Filipino dean of the College of Fine Arts at UP. He was the mentor for Fernando and Pablo Amorsolo. When they were orphaned, um, they came to live with Fabian de la Rosa. And so he schooled them. And this is back and forth. Sa harapan, nakasulat portrait of Mang, portrait of Mang Moneng. Sa harapan. Tapos sa likod, it shows you um, a man in khaki. You know, khaki was invented for the Philippines. Kasi masyadong mainit yung mga... Uh, yes, during World War II. Like Colt 45 was invented. Yes, yes we know that. For the Juramentados. Stop, stop the, but the khaki. Muslim. Yeah. Kaki was also, and then I think it was adopted by the Brits because they were saying the British uh, invented it for their Indian uh, yeah, yes. troops, no? But I read somewhere actually the Americans were the ones who really um, you see, invented you look at it. Pictures, the, 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 the English soldiers wore khaki. Yes, British yes, India. because British India. Uh, here, you have somebody wearing khaki and a long, uh, carrying a long um, uh, weapon, probably hunting. for hunting birds. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, baka nasa diliman sila, di ba? Diliman is madilim eh, di ba? Ah. Kaya tawag doon diliman. Yeah. Oo. Uh, so he I was... Did Rich not share his tent? Yes, wow. yes, to go with this. Wow. To go with this. I put the little memorabilia of Helena, all her different associations. Uh, she was a member of various different organizations or founding member. So, nilagay ko dyan. Mga pins niya. Ganun. And here, I put... Um, so, starting with Fabian de la Rosa, then you go into Fernando Amorsolo on the right, Pablo Amorsolo on the next one. Um, makikita nyo, that's a boceto. That's a small study for a larger, larger-than-life painting that's at PWU of Felicine Terona. She was the youngest uh, sister of Francisca, and her name was Petty. <laughs> so when people ask me, how did you get that name? Because it's a long story. I was named after her. Yeah, she died in 55, and I was born in 55. So uh, yeah, Helena called me after her aunt, her favorite aunt. And then you have Pablo Picasso, P Pablo Picasso, Pablo Amorsolo. <laughs> Picasso, <laughs> imagine. Uh, he had an interesting life, you know. He uh, was one of the premier painters in the workshop of Fernando, his brother. And during the war, they were painting a lot of uh, the, the Japanese military. If you go to the Jorge Vargas Museum mm -hmm. in, their, in their collection, in their storeroom, marami silang mga portraits of Japanese uh, officers. I think one time I was at the museum. Ah, okay. Yeah, remember that room? The atrocities of the Japanese? Yes, you these know? are portraits of the Japanese. Ah, portraits, portraits of the Japanese who were in Malacanang. Okay. And they yeah. were like the favorite um, portraitists at that ah, time. They, they used them as well. Yes, so while all the suffering was happening, they were fortunate because they had commissions nonstop by the military. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, maybe as a result or whatever, uh, Pablo was kidnapped during the beginning of the retaking of Manila, he was brought to Antipolo and he was killed by the guerrillas because he was suspected of being a makapili. A makapili. Uh, and you can see very different yung kanyang painting kay Fernando Amorsolo, di ba? Very stark, ang kulay niya, very angular. Soft si Mas soft si Mas classical. Sa kanya, mas modern, no? Modernist. Yes, so you can see, given his own uh, canvas, he will paint differently. Uh, similar know subjects. That he had an artist brother, too. Everybody he knows. had a workshop. Yeah. And sometimes Amor Solo would have up to 12 uh, easels standing. If you know a little bit about oil painting, uh, you cannot paint on top of wet oil. Right. It becomes murky, it becomes brown. So you can see when you go to exhibitions of students, and daming mga brown hues, brown, 
nagmamadi sila kung hindi sila careful. No? They don't let it dry. So he would have 12, and he would have a big, um, this is Amorsolo, he would have a big uh, album. This was told to me by Sylvia Amorsolo last, so when I was doing the Amorsolo show. And you would flip over and look at the different uh, motifs you wanted. You would choose it, and then depending on the number of motifs you chose, depending on the size, that's how much they will charge you. They would charge you per square inch. Oh. And that's the way they, the foundation, the Amorsolo Foundation continues to do it. If you want a, um, authentication, they charge you per square inch. That's how they do that. Oh. So it would be transferred, you know, grid by grid, on a grid. It was on a grid and bigger grid, transferred, and then he would do the first uh, line of oil paint. And then the workshop will fill in the rest. And then he would do the last touch. So it would still be a Morsolo, Fernando. And that's the way that uh, workshops in, um, in, during the medieval times and the Renaissance times, that's how they would do it. Because you cannot imagine Rubens or Van Dyck you know, doing huge uh, pieces, sila lang, workshop talaga. And that's the way he works. So you would see the, the third painting there. There are about five different motifs. And the motif on the bottom left, you can see that at the Vargas, this woman um, cooking in a pot, and then the woman standing with a child, you can see that in the National Museum in that room of World War II, you know. Um, and then the woman with a, with a basket, that's very popular, ubiquitous uh, among his paintings. Sometimes it's a palayok, diba? sometimes it's a basket. Tapos the, the people who were uh, planting rice, another ubiquitous um, scene, his favorite was 12 noon. Always the stark sun, 12 noon, very harsh light. And then you have the, the carabao at the back and the mango tree. So I would say mga five motifs yan, and then per square inch ang charge para sa... And it's still quite beautiful for the painting when you, when you commission. But you can get to choose. Anong mga motifs ang gusto mo? Ganun. And then you have the third one, uh, the fourth one in the middle, that's Gustado Lorenzo. Again, one of the uh, two fathers of modernism. Uh, that's the cockfight. And then you have a, the, the carport, a painting of the carport of Miranila. We would often have students come here to do parang competitions studies and competitions, and that was one of the winners. And the one on the left, the far left, is by Vic, uh, Macario Vitalis, the gentleman who did the Cubist portrait of uh, Helena when he was here. Yeah, and that was from the view, that was uh, in, the third, uh, in the 60s. That's how Miranila looked in the 60s from the viewpoint of the guardhouse. Raul Lebajo, Raul Isidro, they're quite well known, uh, modernist painters now. And then the last four are by family members. They also dabbled in painting. That's by Jolly uh, Benitez. That's his smallest, because we have huge canvases by him. That's by his uh, daughter, who's a professional painter, si Jana. So you need more walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, you're telling me. Wala talaga kaming walls. So that's Jana. Uh, and uh, yeah, she's quite, yeah, she's quite successful in what she does. And then the third one is by her brother, Kiko Benitez, who's now our representative from Negros. His mother's from Negros, Bantu. Mm -hmm. A review of the people that you came across downstairs. That's Ihinio Benitez later in his life, the far left. That's Soledad Francia, a reproduction lang. The middle is Conrado, later on his life. And then his wife, Francisca. And then Helena. The last two paintings are in the style of what we call oleographico. If you go to the National Museum, there's a whole hall of oleographicos. In the 20s and 30s, people who were coming up in life wanted portraits, and they wanted it quickly. So they had black and white paintings, uh, black and white photographs made of them, and then it would be colored in by oil. Yes. So ang tawag dyan, oleographico. And then this is the master bedroom, and then the two other bedrooms belong to their uh, sons. Well, this is Helena's bedroom. Yes. And then? This is the master bedroom, mm -hmm. and then the two bedrooms there were the two brothers. Oh, ito yung master's bedroom. Uh oh Can I go in? Yes, of course. <laughs> this is the Quezon 
corner uh, devoted to Quezon and his family. These are uh, letters of Maria Aurora or baby Quezon to uh, Helena uh -oh. from 1935 uh, to 37. I just took snippets because uh, she had just moved into the to the Malacanang. To Malacanya. She was like the first daughter, the oldest daughter. Yes. And it's her observations of Malacanang and life as uh, the daughter of the president of the mm -hmm. Commonwealth. Interesting. She, so she writes to Helena. I think this ah, really? is the oh, stairs okay. going to, I don't know. That's Something going to the Torre. Like the Torre. That's true. That's, this, is the, uh, sin, uh, this is the theater in you thinking. Huh? <laughs> the parang symbol, the uh, iconic piece. The iconic piece would be the half uh, squash and the grapes. Calabasa and the grapes. So this was uh, Francisca's bed. This was Conrado's bed. On her last uh, week of uh, life, Imelda Marcos came to say goodbye to her because she felt very close to both of them. She was a scholar of Conrado at PWU School of Music, College of Music. She was under the tutelage of uh, Lucrecia Casilag. And um, she wanted to say goodbye. And then she saw the Atay bed. <laughs> So she asked Aling Biring in, in Little Baguio to ah, make 10 of these. So they made 10 of these. And you see them now in Leyte, I think, in the Malacanang of uh, the Visayas. I don't know what they call it. There's Malacanang of the North, there's Malacanang of the South. So they have. Ah, okay. So that's an Atay bed. Atay bed, yon. Oh, oh. Okay. You should go and original. See it. I went when they first opened. Wala pang masyadong furniture. Yung original furniture from the Quezons were there. Very few. Pero ngayon marami na silang nilagay. No, I would certainly love to see it. Helena had it in her mind to really uh, convert the house for the public. Public to see. So she had Delia uh, type this up and I have you read it. Um, I think that's set. I think writing desk and drawers belong to Mama B. She brought this and later the dresser with her prize money for the result the SA PNC contest. A Philippine National Co a Philippine Normal College contest. CB won first prize and bought the desk with his 150 peso prize. Ooh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine what at that time? Cake. Oh my god. Both historical family heirlooms should be featured in Milan. Mila lived in museum life in the 20th century. So that's signed 2008. Yeah, so she already had it in her mind. Um, I, I was living in Switzerland. I lived abroad for 30 years. She came to visit me and we talked. I taped her for five hours and she told me what she wanted. I transcribed that and then I sent it to the 13 nieces and nephews. So sabi ko walang angal ha, ito yung gusto ni Helena. <laughs> and on that we based our foundation. Yeah. So is these this are her. Ah, uh, that is a look-alike Tiffany. It look came from <laughs> probably it came from uh, a museum. Can you know. Turn on the light. Yes, yes, absolutely. Oh. Ayun, hindi na. Ito electric fan nila oh. Nakita ko sa akin. Ayun, okay. Then then you can turn it on. Ako din. Ha, ganun? Anong year po yan? Uh, this is from the 60s. It's time. Yeah, it's still working. I know. 60s. Yeah, 50s kaya. Gumag gumagana pa eh. 50s, 60s, something. It's working, yeah. This is locally made? No, no, that's Tiffany. I don't Tiffany, yeah, Tiff made. Wait, no, 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 look alike. Because ah, I'm not sure whether it's real Tiffany. Well, you know, as an art historian, I cannot claim what it is when I'm not really absolutely sure. Tiffany inspired. Uh, yeah. So outside, you see the Kimba Bobo tree, right? Yeah. The Kimba Bobo tree outside. If you have Ilocano um, in your ancestry, you would know the term uh, Dingding. Yes, I do. That's a gulay Dingding. Yeah, Ulam. The main, the main gulay of that is from the Himbabawa tree. These little fronds that have fallen, you can see it on the ground later. So they use that. Yes. Dingding. While it's still soft, you can use it for the 
Okay, so doon sa mga kababayan natin, Ilocano. Bagoong isda. Isda. Yes. That's yeah. what they cook it with. Yeah. Oh. So when Ferdinand Marcos Sr. came, he saw the Himbabao tree here and he was so happy. Irene said, he can have that breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He's a true Ilocano. Himbabao? Himbabao. Iba ang tawag sa Ilo Ilocos eh. They call oh, it something else. Something else. Oh, nga. I'm sure yung... meron sila. Oo. Oh, oh. At saka merong scientific name yan. Ayan. So comment kayo <laughs> doon sa mga Ilocano dyan. Ano yung ibang term ng Himbabao? Remember I mentioned to you. Ano yung tawag uh, sa inyo? Ano? The, uh, the closeness of uh, the Muslim sisters no, to my grandparents and to Helena. That's why they started PWC Davao. And before that, many of the Muslim sisters would come to okay, schools so sa PWU, to, itong bed frame, sa TAS, kasi non-sectarian, hindi religious. Nila so, nung... Manila, diba, so, uh, or, yeah. <laughs> so this is their link with the um, Muslim? Well, they, in, 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 through years, they accumulated a lot, and also with Bayanihan, uh, yung bathroom dito sa master's bedroom. Maranao Crafts. Oh, I, mean, you know, I don't have the name here. Ah, yes, it's called Daba, Daba One. It's called Daba One. Da Dab One. Da Dab One. Ewan ko, yun ang na-research ko. Even when I was growing up, we still had three Spanish babies. That's true. So, um, okay. Did you go to Helena's room alone? May I? Okay, so akit daw tayo sideways para mas madali. Oo nga naman. Kasi mabagal ka. Kaya ako, continue to sit down. And come down sideways also. Okay. Kaya ba niyo? Kaya ba niyo? Peti ba? Peti. Alam ko, Peti. Peti. P. As in Paul. As in Paul. Peti. Where's the book? Oh, Philippine Ancestral House. That's the book I want. This one, oh. Peti yung Tore. Okay, mga Jibero. So, meron pa palang taas. Bakit pa tayo? Nako. Kaya pa natin. Oh, kaya. Ang kaya. Wow. Grabe, ang ganda naman dito mga kay Chubero. So ulitin ko lang, ito na yung tower mismo. And uh, makikita nyo, napaka-presko dito sa itaas ng tower. And mahangin. Tapos ito yung view natin mula dito sa tore. Ito yung, yan yung entrance. Ano? Nice. Kaya lika na baba na tayo. So meron pa tayong isang bedroom na hindi napapasok. Mama B. Sternos. So much. so much of the U.S. Yeah. I, I saw the, in the last case mm -hmm. the invitation for the elab second elaboration. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So another bathroom. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so these are various different. This is my dad um, here on the left. He was a uh, yes, we present him. He was uh, first secretary in the Philippines and the CDC from 1946 to 62. It was the first embassy that the Philippines established abroad after the independence. It was a master of peace and Hidalgo. So he was very fortunate. So he he um, he had the um, he was a career ambassador. Yes, right. Yes, That's right. He visited them, and I don't know, I found his name. So, my guy is what was important in their life. Yes, this is really quadrangle. So, kita niyo ba yung mga books sa taas? Ang dami. No, no. Emma, makapagal. Emma, we have a city of Thailand. And they were visiting women's because there were a lot of Thai students. You know, in the 60s, there were a lot of Thai students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I think it's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Galing ng bed frame, no? You know, this is very um, usual for Filipino Se homes. Several, several that means several entries, entries and entrance. Piercings, they call it. So that was her original bedroom. And then this is the service entrance. Yeah, top, upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> so, um, boy, I, I, my driver is there. I'm so, we're going to go to a bedroom. We can go to a bedroom. Yes, more than normal. There are a lot of questions. Okay, let's go to a bedroom, sir. Okay. Do you know what this is? You know, they don't have this card catalog anymore. Before. Before, but how we would look for books. This is still functional. Are they? Yes, absolutely. Oh. The All the books are here. Is that in a Dewey, whatever they're called? Dewey decimal, 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 decimal system. Are you kidding? <laughs> it's still functional, <laughs> but we also have it online. Okay. So our 4,500 books are in there oh my and Lord. online as so well. So this is how we would research before using the card catalog. To find the book using the Dewey Decimal System. Buti na lang, di ko naabotan yan. Hindi ba? Hindi. And I Google. And you know, this is Dewey what um, the assembly I know. Uh, people hirap. would wear. Oh. Sa batasan, when they would open the batasan, they would all come marching in in their Filipino attire and all of them. Open Congress. Wow. Open Congress using that. Each one represents eight provinces. There are 60. Oh, wow. Yeah. Alam mo, they don't wear this anymore. I think they don't. They don't. Oh. Because... Oh, well, it's not tradition now. It's usually a fashion show. <laughs> a fashion show. Or some uh, museum. Mm. This is a function. It's a function. Wow. Oh my God. Sorry, this shouldn't be open. <clears throat> she, uh, uh -oh. She's very Catholic. She was very Catholic. So we put all the icons here. And then we put all her, yung kay Princess Ashraf, the things that was given, yes, he given to her. Blue, ano? Itong bedroom ni Helena, Helena, she moved here when she was 15 years old. Oh, okay. And she died in this house at 102. But she never moved bedrooms. Ah, uh, she did. When her, grandpa when her parents died, she moved into their room because it was bigger. Uh -oh. okay. Yeah, and then she, lived, she left this for guests. But the only thing that always stayed in this room was that portrait of her by Anita Magsaysayho, oh, uh, who one. was her classmate. Ah. Ito yun. Yeah, uh, she, Anita was her classmate at women's, and Anita was taking oh. uh, uh, fine arts on the side lessons in UP Padre Faura, College of Fine Arts. 
Doon ba natin ang Fine Arts College ng UP? Oo. Ang lahat ng UP nasa Padre Faura noon before they moved to Diliman. Yeah. Ganda ng ano. Um, ito, nilagay ko lahat ng mga pictures ng pamilya para pag meron ako mga nieces and nephews or grannies, they visit, they, they, they have ownership, di ba? Pag yeah. meron silang pictures dito. Totoo. Kaya masaya naman sila ng kaunti pag nakikita nila yung sarili nila dyan. Nice, no? Ito mga naive paintings. From ano pong tawag? The, from the naive, naive. primitive, na, oh, primitive paintings from the primitive style, naive style from the 19th, 18th century collection ni Helena. Nilag, naglagay ako ng tatlo lang dyan. Ang galing. Ito pala yung tinatawag na naive painting. Oh, naive paintings natin. Nice. Okay, pababa na tayo mga kay Chubero. So, grabe, no? Medyo mahabahay ba itong vlog natin? So, ito yung kanilang gift shop, no? Lahat ito binibenta, no, Mio? Oo. Oh. Yan. So, ito yung kanilang gift shop. So, lahat yung makikita nyo dito, yun, binibenta nila. Mga books, yan, may books sila rito. Yan. That's the book. Uh, so itong bum bike ayun binibenta rin pala ito so worth um, ngayon 6,999 pesos oo ito katatapos lang papunta nga nyo sila dyan ha yung pito na yung dalawa 